Hey guys, it's Wes. Not your normal miner here. Today I got a fun one for you. Today we've got our test rigs. This is our test rig blue, our test rig green. These are our 1070 Ti test rigs. Um, we have been doing some benchmarking with this. That's right. Um, with our pool testing and such, I wanted to have a nice benchmark. Um, there's been some people that have made some complaints um, or had some qualms with our test rigs. They say these rigs don't hash the same. They say they don't earn the same, all sorts of different things. Um, I understand there's all sorts of different um, variables in all of these tests that I do, um, but we're gonna walk you through an average of what we've seen about three and a half, four days and showing you where these rigs are hashing. We've got blue, it's a 1070 Ti test rig, and we've got green, a 1070 Ti test rig, going against each other. We have been using Hive OS as far as our operating system. Hive OS is something that we've got a lot of our rigs on currently. We've also been doing this test over on Hive on Pool. Um, Hive OS does have their own Ethereum mining pool. that They don't charge you when you're mining on that pool. So I thought for this test, it would be really good. We've been using Hive on with Hive OS, and we'll be walking you through our test rigs, green and blue. On this is some benchmarking here. Comment down below if you guys don't like these tests. Comment down below if you do. Tell me what pools you want us to see first with our Ethereum pool testing. Um, Nano pool and Ether mine are probably going to be one that we're going to go ahead and hit up first again. Um, I love those pools. Um, a lot of people have a lot of questions about them. So we're going to walk you through test rigs blue and green. Here we go. We are a cryptocurrency mining base channel focusing on our pool testings, overclock setting testings, solo mining, our how-to videos. We did go ahead and build our remote garden location so we could show you guys everything we did as far as scaling up. That's with multiple GPU and ASIC mining rigs. That's with your heat removal as well as your electric updates. But today we're walking you through and we've got this these two test rigs that we built specifically to do some really fun pool testings, um, overclock setting testings, minor programs. I can put Hive OS versus SMOS on this. Um, we can test um, all sorts of different minor programs, T-Rex, um, all sorts of different minor programs, all sorts of fun stuff, but because we built these two identical test rigs, it makes me sleep good at night knowing that I feel my, my tests are pretty legit. Here's test rig green. Here's test rig blue. You guys can see that these do use the same identical parts. These do hash over at our remote garden location. You can see them here. Now, as far as those identical parts, we'll start here. We do use the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. And in the description down below, I'm actually going to have to, a link to a video that explains these um, test rigs a little bit more. Um, if you guys like this stuff, comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you don't like the video, um, comment down below. Tell us what you don't like about it. But if you like this stuff, give us that thumbs up. We really cherish it. And if you're new to the channel, you better hit that subscription bell. Um, we are getting close to that 1,000 subscriber. That's right. And we cannot wait to give back to the community. So you really want to be subscribed to our channel for that. We are giving away a GPU mining rig. But today we're um, going to finish walking you through these um, 1070 Ti test rigs and the testing process as far as our benchmarking goes. We're using the ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus motherboard. I am using a Celeron G3900 in both of these rigs. We are also using the Corsair Vengeance DDR4 2400 MHz, um, 8 GB RAM. We've also got that EVGA Supernova 750 watt G2 fully modular power supply. As you guys know, if you follow the channel, we are a big fan of these fully modular power supplies. They just don't tie as much. Um, you know, you could do a little bit more with them. Last but not least, the workhorse in these rigs are these Gigabyte 1070 Ti's. We've had these for quite some time. We had over 13 of these at one time. So I know that people say GPUs don't hash the same. Well, I beg to differ. You go through enough of them, you can find some. Um, we did also have Red Panda Mining um, has been doing some uh, test rig testing as well. So we did send all this data over to him. So that way that someone else can confirm what we've seen. Um, once again, guys, we're just showing you these test rigs and a little bit of testing. So let's go ahead and walk you guys through some stats here. So we do have, this is our test rig blue, and this is about 12 hours into the test. You can see 289 shares found. Test rig green, same amount of time, 283 shares. We are going to go ahead and show you dashboard side, blue, Overclock settings of core zero, memory 300, power limit 100. 
and that's giving us 28.15 mega hash per second at 100 watts and this is dashboard side side note we are also solo mining xmr while we're doing these tests test rig green showing core zero memory 300 power limit 100 hash rate of 28.15 99 watts dashboard side we are also are solo mining xmr our little hashers have a lot to say about these tests as well they love being a part of these videos now we're going to get a little bit farther in and this is going to be test rig blue showing the shares at 542 and then test rig green at 576 and guys we understand there's going to be a little bit of fluctuations we understand that they aren't going to find the same amount of shares all the time but what we want is a solid average so that we can put a good average against these tests we're going to move forward test rig blue core zero memory 300 power limit 100 once again 28.15 showing 98 watts dashboard side here we're doing core zero memory 300 power limit 100 28.15 mega hash per second 99 watts now we get a little bit farther into the test and the dates i did make sure to get the dates and times down at the bottom guys in the description down below if there's links comment tell me what you think if you guys think this is bs if you like it you better tell us you better hit that thumbs up tell us why you like it this is going to be test rig blue 561 shares over 24 hours test rig green 560 shares over 24 hours you can also see 28.15 mega hash reported hash rate and that's on both of those we'll go back to dashboard side for hive os blue core zero memory 300 power limit zero and and we took these pictures these screen grabs at the same time 28.15 mega hash per second 100 watts we'll get here to green Core zero memory 300 power limit 100 28.15 101 on the watts there as we get a little bit farther and one thing I am going to say guys we did have um, as we took one of our last screenshots here um, one of these test rigs did crash otherwise this test would have went a little bit farther but what we're showing you here is a benchmark to show you these rigs hash the same pool side as well as dashboard side and then showing you their average shares 572 for blue over 24 hour period 572 for green over that same 24 hour period that's right guys these rigs found the same amount of shares now once again i know there's going to be a little bit of fluctuations but as you can see here if you guys are checking out all these numbers you can see that that we have a difference of and this is over the entire time of mining point zero 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 six ethereum is what it breaks down to back over to dashboard side blue 0 300 100 28.5 green is at 0 300 128.5 let's go back here i want you guys to see this 0 0.00898 0 0.00892 so that is over three and a half days of mining poolside with the same gpus the same ram the same power supply um, as you can see here everything's the same once again i know there's some skeptics that say you cannot make gpu rigs hash the same there's no way um, as you can see we're pretty darn close so moving forward with our ethereum pool testings these are going to be the videos that we're going to bring you guys back through so that you guys can see test rig blue which is a 1070 ti test rig green which is a 1070 ti that's what we've been walking through and talking with you guys about if you guys like this stuff you better comment down below tell us why if you don't like these tests you better comment down below tell me why you don't like them if there's something that we missed please tell me i really appreciate the community and all your feedback with the channel also 1000 subscribers we are so close so get ready that video is coming out we are giving away a gpu mining rig and it is going to ship internationally we'll have more about that coming up soon um, my name is wes i'm not your normal miner thank you don't forget you can also follow us over on twitter description down below i'm going to have links to that you're also going to be able to follow us over on discord we did some solo mining check out these shenanigans um, but once again we've been walking you through the process of our test rig testing doing you some stats on that we really appreciate it we're going to show you one more time here my name is wes not your normal miner thanks guys